please give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. And now, lords and ladies, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of mansions and law. Versatile viscounts of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. Oh, hello, everybody! I say hazard! Mr. Smythe and I'm Mr. Jones And how is each and everybody doing today? Welcome to the theater, the famous royal theater And while we're in the theater, I say let's do a play Using our imagination As well as good enunciation Together we will be creating a creation That will take your breath away Attend and hark if you've an ear to lend. We're going to tell a tale of once upon a time at the start, and there's a happily ever after at the end. I say, Mr. Jones. Yes, this is mine. What story shall we play as play today? I say we tell a tale as old as time. A song as old as rhyme. Beauty and the Beast. It's a very special tale of a very special girl. She's full of hopes and dreams, a little something like you. And if she puts some work into it, makes her mind up to pursue it, she can make a wish come true. It may be awfully hard to do, but with imagination, the courage and determination, she can conquer all her fears and trepidation. Well, then she just might make it through. For all the world is a stage, my friend. Attend and hug if you can hear to lend. And here's one thing on which you can depend. Make a little magic if you all do your part. We will create a little chronicle of courage and heart. We're gonna tell a tale with lots of fun at the start. There's a happy ever after. Happy end. Happily ever after at the end. You're speaking French. Ah, oui. And why are you speaking French? Well, since our story begins in a small provincial town in France, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, set Zemmour. Set Zemmour, then. Ah, oui. And how long have you been speaking French? Well, what time is it now? That's what I thought. Actually, it's time for you to introduce our royal visitor. It is? Oui. Madame et Monsieur, it is with greatest pride and deepest pleasure that we welcome you here today. And now, please help us give a warm welcome to our royal guest, Zemmour. Welcome to the Royal Theatre! Why, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and help tell my story. As are we. In fact, we shall be playing most of the roles in your story. Yes, I shall pretend to be Gaston. And I shall pretend to be the Beast. And you shall pretend to be Belle. <laughs> but I am Belle. Now, little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle! Oh, I'm so sorry. I promise I won't keep stopping, but... What is it? Well, it's Gaston. Yes, Mr. Jones is pretending, pretending to be Gaston. I know. It's just that, well, Gaston had much bigger muscles. <laughs> Was. I'm the most eligible bachelor in the village. I'm strong, I'm handsome, I'm derriere, debonair. Exactly. Fleeing right through the forest, she comes upon a dark and mysterious castle. Little does she know, she's about to enter. 
the Beastly Song. <laughs> with a candlestick. Oh, crusty fangs, gnawing that it here in putrid, rotting breath, the smell of garlic and old milk that emitted an odor so foul, so horrendous, so outrageously stinking that any living creature would wither in its presence. You quite finished. My own foul creature. Ah. What are you doing? I was only. Did you realize what you could have done? I didn't mean me harm. Get out. Where's my father? Get out. <laughs> So, Belle finds out that her father's in the dungeon and offers to take his, her father's place, and the Beast agrees letting her father go as long as Belle promises to stay with him, the Beast in the castle. Which is great for the Beast because he's so lonely. Bad for Belle because who wants to live with the Beast? We go to the mayor, and Cogsworth and Mrs. Potts because maybe she can break the spell, they can all be human again! Huzzah! Huzzah! You see, the Beast was once a handsome prince. But because of his selfishness, the spell was cast upon him. And all of us who lived in the castle! <laughs> As for the rose, it too was put out of It continued to bloom until this the Prince's 21st year! As you can see, the petals have begun to fall. But if the beast can learn to love another, and learn love in return before the last petal falls, the spell will be broken and we will be human again! If not, you remain a beast for all time. Oh, what's the use? She'll never see me as anything but a monster. Perhaps there's a way for her to see the good in you. But how? No. Lesson number one. The royal bow. First, place your left foot behind your right. right slide your right foot forward. Put your left hand in, your right hand out. And to do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Oh, wait, wait. That's what it's all about. I like those girls. Now, lesson number oh, 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 the royal dance. Sir Samuel, royal dancing music. Okay, okay. okay. Hand over here, hand over here. Let's go. Sway, sway. One, two, three. One, two, three. Look at you go. Oh. Ah, look into my eyes. Oh, you're a regular werewolf from London. How? Madame et Monsieur, please give a warm welcome to the charming and delightful Mademoiselle Belle. The beast's heart was pounding. How could he begin to tell her how he truly felt? He knew for certain that he loved her. Belle, I'm sorry I behaved like, well, the beast. It's all right. Perhaps I jumped to conclusions. It's true, you know, you really can't judge a book by its color. Ah, uh, the mood is right, the lights are dim. If music be the foot of love, sing along!
beast. Who's with me? Don't be afraid. Screw your curse to the sticky place if we will not fail. Where are you, beast? Come out and fight like a man. Yes, we created us a chronicle of courage and heart. We told a fairy tale with once upon a time at the start. Ta-da-ha! 